for the final time to Grand Forks, North Dakota, as UND drops the hammer on Southern Utah, a 30-point impressive victory for Brian Jones and his ball club. Al, a, a big victory for North Dakota. There was a lot that went right today for the Fighting Hawks. Just about everything went right except for Connor Avans losing the handle on a ball. He was going to go up and <laughs> dunk one-handed. That's really the only thing that went didn't go their way this afternoon, but they earned it. They worked hard defensively. Full 40 minutes of team defense, which is what Brian Jones said we have to do. They moved the ball well on offense. We're very good about making that extra pass. They had 23 assists on 35 made field goals. That's unselfish basketball. Let's take a look at the highlights from this ball game. It was close for about eight minutes, and then UND just punched it in the overdrive. And Randy Onwasser for Southern Utah had 19. He came in averaging 34 points per game in Big Sky play. That was the key to this game for North Dakota. It absolutely was. That's the player they wanted to keep under control. They gave up 19, but he'd been averaging 34 points a game in conference play as North Dakota said, we're going to make somebody else step up and beat us. Here's part of that team defense I was talking about back in the first half with Quentin Hooker making a steal in the backcourt. On Wasser did break free for a dunk late in the first half, but that really didn't get him on track. This kid was impressive coming off the bench. The freshman Keenan Walter with an and one there. Geno Crandall had a great spurt in the first half finished in double figures as well. It was an 18-point cushion for North Dakota at the break. Gino Crandall continues the impressive play. He finished the ball game with 13 for UND, and here's Connor Avance for North Dakota, also in double figures with 10. Southern Utah offensively, not much going for James McGee in the first half, but he did in the ball game in double figures for the Thunderbirds in the second half, but it was just too much UND in the second half. Well, a couple of the highlights you saw, and here's another one right there, Crandall nine assists he had nine of the 23 helps this afternoon just an all-around great passer looking for the open man hooker solid 23 points that's from behind the stripe there a nifty pass underneath to let Thomas Blake put his name in the offensive scorebook as North Dakota slams the door in this one when they came out had those first eight field goals in the second half a 30-point victory for UND as you take a look at some of the final numbers. What are some of the figures that jump out at you on this monitor? Holding Southern Utah to 26% from the floor. They're a much better shooting team than that coming in. Plus eight on the rebound side of things. The assist that you see, 23 to 6. I mean, that just speaks to the unselfishness that North Dakota had when they had the ball in the, in the offense. And uh, the points in the paint that you don't see on there, I think North Dakota ended up with yeah, 44 points in the paint. They just attacked the, the rim. Tonight, they were able to finish, which they haven't always been able to do.